like a toilet moja shit on. Here's what's coming back up on the Gil Lane show. Where in his life did he have an opportunity to help an old lady cross the street and not do it? Like that's <laughs> that's straight karma, right? Yeah. Somewhere, yeah. Somewhere he didn't give money to the homeless or, yep. or something. God's like, pink. <laughs> he robbed one of those clothing bins for Red Cross. You know, yeah, something happened. <laughs> what if Travis Kelsey was trans and he was Travis Kelsey and did this? <laughs> then what are we looking at? What are we looking at? Welcome back to the Gil Lane Show. Hope you're having a great day. My name is Chris Kanya, and with us today, we have Bill Parker and Chris Navalino, a.k.a. Mo, fresh off of the Super Bowl, Super Bowl 58. I am very tan. I'm also fresh off of a, an island, at which we will cover on uh, the next next week's episodes because we have a lot to talk about because of the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Uh, you guys, first of all, did both of you watch? Because I know I know Bill was going to watch. We talked about Bill's tradition with his dad. But Mo, did you end up watching the Super Bowl? Yeah, I watched because you guys told me I had to. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, fine. I guess I signed up for this shit, even though my lawyer technically told me this is all bullshit. But anyway, no, I watched the fucking game and, you know, I don't I, like- I, I know it's going to sound that like I was ready to come in hot. Mahomes bitched at something and blah, blah, blah. You know, actually, he had, they actually earned this one. He didn't really bitch at the refs anytime I saw, you know, he didn't mm-hmm. uh, he didn't piss me off. I'm not unreasonable. I'll give That's him his fucking credit, you know? Yeah. Maybe only when it comes to my only close friend. But, um. Oh, all right. <laughs> I don't know. Did you guys see him <laughs> pissing and moaning or anything? Because I, I didn't. No. No. There was no reason to, really. Even that uh, intentional grounding he had was, you know, that he could have probably complained about that because that was pretty close to it receiver in the vicinity and he he just went on with his business yeah i actually even thought i was like really i was like i don't know if that's really grounding but he didn't say shit you know Mm -hmm. at this point i'm just grateful to not see 97 posts about the referees after a football game just generally speaking let's just start there the fact that you know, there's not the uh, Photoshop of, uh, you know, the Mahomes bent over with the ref behind him or like, yeah, it's just nice. the ref. <laughs> yeah, it's I mean, those while they're funny, uh, it's just yeah. ni- nice not to see those after a game. I mean, everything. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the new the new protocol for if you lose a big game is you go through your checklist. These people, number one refs. Can I blame them? Not really. Number two it's scripted. That's the, that. That's the two check marks, and it gets mm-hmm. annoying to just you. You never see a winning team go through that checklist, right? Mm-hmm. Like if <laughs> the yeah. Chiefs aren't like, well, I wish I could celebrate this, but it's scripted. Yeah. <laughs> or when you said it was scripted last week because your team lost, all of a sudden your team won because they deserve to win and they're the right. better team. The, mm-hmm. the script only happens when you're losing. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. That's the way they write those things. <laughs> and look, the, they'll call an audible too. If you, you know, if for some reason the Chiefs did not win because everyone's like, well, you know, the Taylor Swift is scripted. If the Chiefs didn't win, they'd be like, well, everyone was on to them. So they had to get the 49ers to win. It's like you can't win with these conspiracy people ever. Oh, no. I don't know if it's because I'm on the internet a lot, but that the word scripted, it, it makes my eye twitch like literally mm. used to. I'm just I'm happy the season's mm-hmm. over in, in that sense of like I don't have to hear that yeah. word anymore. It, it really makes it puts like a a, sh- uh, a shiver down my spine yeah. when I hear that word. Yeah. It just mute it. Drives me nuts. Yeah, on Twitter. Well, I well, muted I it in, literally. I never see yeah, it. I hear it in text messages now. Everybody, you know, in yeah. group texts and shit like that, and mm-hmm. whatever. Even written in like memes, so you can't really mute that. But I see what you're saying. I probably cut it in yeah. half by by muting mm-hmm. it. I can't believe that boring first half turned into a double or almost a double overtime (laughs) Super Bowl. Well, it turned into a last play overtime Super Bowl win to, you know, establish a dynasty in a, in a, in a team that wasn't perfect this season. It just turned into a great game. Yeah. We talked about in-game betting uh, and overreactions of the public. I was at halftime. I was like, since it was a very low scoring first half, I was like, I mean, I actually thought it would even be more high scoring the second half. I was actually surprised at that, but it was much more high scoring than the first half. Like, you know, it's going to, it's not going to stay the way it was in the first half. And secondly, like I, it, it, 
just because the Niners were up doesn't mean that game's over by any stretch. I mean, I know it was a one score game, but unfortunately, we have to say these things because the people are just so manic, you know, like it's crazy. Yeah. But, you know, and, you know, I, I, like not like I said, not many bad calls, not anything I saw glaring. You know, it is the Super Bowl and everything's so magnified that like the refs need to, I think, at least pay extra, extra, extra attention to what they're doing. They're up against it anyway. There's so many calls like there's like holding probably on every play that you could you could really nitpick if you wanted Definitely. to. There's pass interference on every pass it's somehow because technically you're not even allowed to touch the guy. So people take these things and they can run with them with your scripts, as you said, like, oh, we lost because of blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, no, that's that's all subjective, you know. So I was glad there was none of that shit. Right. Yeah. And um, yeah. Yeah. Second half was way better than the first half, I think. And um, they won it fair and fucking square. These scumbags. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I. They did. Uh, 49ers, you know, also made tons of mistakes. Uh, and you yeah. could rip them apart for an hour on what they were doing. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, they come out the second half and they just started throwing. Why are you doing that? You had a good ground game in the first half. Didn't seem like the Chiefs were figuring that out. They had the three, three and outs. The momentum totally changed. Um, yeah. Yeah. And also they had that interception on Mahomes and they didn't do anything with it. Plus they were dropping like flies every time there was a Every time, what, who's the player that walked on the field and tore his ACL? <laughs> yeah, Greenlaw. Yeah, I mean, that, I mean that's that's just and that's a, and that's probably not getting played up enough losing that guy um, because that happened and guess what happened? You know, Chiefs became the Chiefs. Where in his life did he have an opportunity to help an old lady cross the street and not do it? Like that's <laughs> that's straight karma, right? Yeah, somewhere, yeah, somewhere he didn't give money to the homeless or, yep. or something. God's like, bink. <laughs> he robbed one of those clothing bins for Red Cross. You know, yeah, something happened. <laughs> He's at Target. They're like, "Do you want to round up to the nearest dollar for kids with cancer?" He's like, "No." It was four <laughs> cents. Fuck no! Wow, that was aggressive unnecessarily. Um, but I was like, that was one of my <laughs> that was one of my most relatable. He's parts screaming of the in that camera. That's <laughs> recording him. Fuck no. <laughs> He repeats the question for like, it's not even necessary. Like most people are shameful for saying no. He's like, yeah. do I want to <laughs> donate to starving and injured children? No. <laughs> no. The hell do I look like? Yeah. Um, but that was very relatable for me. I was like, oh, they even, even honed professional athletes have the same uh, exact physical capabilities of me sometimes you know i woke up the other oh, day it yeah. took and my shoulder was a little out of whack because i slept wrong it took me three days to recover i was like dude i'm at an age now where sleeping isn't even safe <laughs> yeah i'm <laughs> sleeping I, I, it was like two weeks ago i got out of bed collapsed <laughs> my wife called for the cart you know came <laughs> blasting through the living room uh, <laughs> it ran the dog over like the old madden game you know <laughs> That's such a great poll. Oh, my God. How funny was that? That was amazing. Remember when Madden would go, oh, no. Oh, no. There's a man down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they knew what they were then doing. The ambulance would come on the field and just run over everybody. Guys would go flying off to the sides as he ran. Yeah. They got run over so by the funny. ambulance. Oh. Yeah. No, I, that was very relatable, but not good for the Niners. <laughs> No, not good at all. Then that middle of the field kind of opened up just a little bit. And, you know, Kelsey became a machine again. And, um, yeah, he had one catch for one yard at halftime, finished with 999 for 93. So he definitely came alive in that second half. But the running thing, dude, the Chiefs won, if you could even consider it a weakness, but the Chiefs' weakness on defense is rushing attack against them, right? Right. This was like the Ravens game. I'd fired a whole staff on the fucking Ravens. They got the no, they got a great running attack. They've got the number one running quarterback, maybe all time. Certainly the best one who never ran a dogfighting ring. And what do they decide to do? <laughs> what a stat. <laughs> what do they decide to do? They decide we they know we're gonna try and run it. We got them. We're gonna throw it forty times. How'd that fucking work out for you? It didn't. It never works good with Right. Lamar ever you can't have him if you if he throws over 25 times a game you're losing yeah so let's do that so let's all as a coaching staff get together and decide to do that and out would they outsmarted them 
And then you know, I kind of got that vibe immediately when I saw the Niners come out and like start throwing it. I was like, oh, man. And this is not a Purdy knock. Please, God. Oh, God. I'm sure that's going to be coming too next that he's Mr. Irrelevant again. Guy's, guy's only been at two yeah. years. He's been an NFC championship game in the Super Bowl. And realistically, he doesn't get hurt. They probably beat the Eagles. So we're talking two for two in the Super Bowl if he doesn't get hurt. He shares an apartment with another player. He's in the fucking Super Bowl throwing for <laughs> touchdown yeah. passes and shit. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, like, he's on the bench sending texts like, did you drink my milk? Yeah, I was just going to say. <laughs> I, my name is on it. It says Brock on the milk. <laughs> did you eat my cheese? It says it's my Brock of cheese. Don't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> did you eat my broccoli? Yeah. <laughs> that's that's his roommate's name, Lee. <laughs> <There's a comma. laughs> did, did you eat my broccoli? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I know you like making stir fry with that shit. Okay, Lee? You left your game jersey on the floor in the bathroom, and it's getting pretty annoying, okay? <laughs> Are uh, you, why aren't you answering me? Did you brock me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, screenshots like 14 blue bubbles in a row. Uh, <laughs> hey Lee, did I leave my playbook on the kitchen table? Fuck! <laughs> I, I fucking <laughs> love the picture of him and another person, roommates in a fucking studio apartment, and then he's like, "I gotta go to the Super Bowl." <laughs> he's like yeah. knocking on the bathroom doors in the shower. He's like, "I gotta go to the Super Bowl. Can you please? <laughs> I got hurry that. up. I told you water. I got that thing at six thirty. Can you fucking move it? <laughs> that thing. <laughs> that thing. I got that fucking he's thing." He's like, oh, uh, somebody's coming over later, Leah. Hope you don't. Uh, hope you don't mind. <laughs> Joe Montana. He's just stopping by to give me some pointers on the Super Bowl. Uh... <laughs> oh, I love him. <laughs> it's Joe Cool. <laughs> Meanwhile, Patrick Mahomes is taking a helicopter to get to the end of his driveway so his car can pick him up. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You think there's a little difference between the two? Uh, <laughs> well, again, what was that? The big thing they showed that went wild was like, oh, he looks like a 12 year old in a Sears catalog. Uh, no. Well, the, the other thing that went wild is that he looks uh, eerily similar to, is it John Wilkes Booth? Didn't well, they ask what? him about, yeah, didn't they ask <laughs> wow, him about that? I did not see this. I saw the Sears catalog shit everywhere. I didn't see the uh, assa president assassinator one. Maybe it's maybe John Wilkes Booth was in a Sears catalog, and we're, maybe it's all the same story. <laughs> wow! <laughs> it's a, it's Wait like, a second. So you're saying brand? John Wilkes Booth goes into Ford Theater, assassinates Abraham Lincoln. Brock Purdy goes into Ford Field and assassinates the Lions. Wow, that is wild. So it is him. Is that what you're implying, Chris? Mm -hmm. I mean, that, you it got makes me sense convinced. To me, yeah, me too. <laughs> Yeah. If you um, add up the letters in Bro in John Wilkes Booth, it equals Brock Purdy. Oh no, they they were home. Liners were home. Never mind. Yeah, because that's oh, the ridiculous me. part of what you said. Lee Lee Harvey Oswald. <laughs> it's Lee Lee Ar Lee Harvey Oswald. My bad. Lee Harvey. Oh, Oswald. Yeah, he does actually. Um, Brock Purdy. Brock's roommate. <laughs> <laughs> Brock Reed. <laughs> Brock Lee Harvey Oswald. Oh, holy shit. Okay. Uh, <laughs> They're interviewing him. Wow. Like, you got the wrong guy. That's my roommate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to find the. Okay, wait. Um, he responded. He was asked about it and responded to it. And this is on the fly. Yeah. This I, is on the fly. So sorry for Oh, the, my God. They asked him about yeah, it. Yeah. I know what he looks like, uh, Lee Harvey as well. So, yeah, I'm going to agree with this. I have it. That's my first time hearing it. Yeah. What do you think about that comparison? Uh, Physical comparison, obviously. Uh, yeah. You don't yeah, I don't, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay. What's he supposed I mean, to say? Exactly. And he's he's only what, twenty five or something? Like yeah. what, what's he supposed to say there? Like, oh that's cool. Um I look like the guy who killed JFK. Awesome and extended Vietnam. Great. I would have said 
I killed him. Next question. Uh, the reporter's like <laughs> panicking. He's like, what do you think about th that comparison? Uh, physical c comparison, obviously. He's like, oh, not the comparison of murder. <laughs> like, we, I, I get it. I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah. I, aren't like some of these beat reporters, even at that point, I guess you're a little bit above beat reporter. But like these sports beat reporters that ask these stupid questions are just reporters that have to like over – do everything because they're so hyper competitive with thousands of other people just like them. Like this is like this is the lowest form mm -hmm. of like media, man. Like, come on. Well, they. What do you think about the fact that people think you look like Lee <laughs> Broccoli Harvey Oswald? <laughs> <laughs> well, they reverse engineer. I'd be asking all about and his roommate. We all do it nowadays. I mean, anybody who's a content creator, a reporter, fucking makeup tutorials, us. They're probably going, okay, what gets the most clicks and how do I back it up from there and ask the question yeah, to get right. to that point? Sure. Which is not journalism, I don't think, right? Yeah. Aren't you just supposed to ask no. interesting questions and get to the truth or whatever? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, oh, uh, Brock, how do you feel about the um, Native American genocide caused <laughs> by white people like you? <laughs> any, any answer? Are you going to feel guilty if you beat the Chiefs? Yeah. Is the Trail of Tears mean anything to you, Brock? I mean, at all, <laughs> you look remorseless. So you plan to beat the Chiefs. Um, now, what about the football team? And go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this doesn't seem like a coincidence, Brock. Brock, did you kill those three guys in Kansas City that froze to death in the backyard? <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys heard about this story? Yeah. Sorry, I, I hate to drop no, this during is, the show. I don't know why. <laughs> it's the fucking weirdest story. We don't have to go into it, but, you know, it's fucking so weird, man. They, they, these guys got together to watch that first Kansas City game against, mm -hmm. I guess it was the Dolphins when it was like negative 100 outside. And, um, th the guys go missing. So the, this one girlfriend goes to look for them. She gets to the house and just finds them frozen in chairs in the backyard. Um, with, with the homeowners inside just like drinking wine or some shit. They, <laughs> Two days later, and he's like, oh, I didn't even know they were back there. And he, they were like, their cars are in the driveway. You didn't think that's weird? He goes, not really. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, they, they, <laughs> so, of course, everyone's going crazy. Like, this guy murdered his friends, which is such a weird thing. But you know how everyone is. They're like, they're, everyone's watching too much of fucking murderino shows. So they're, they're saying he killed them. Uh, it, they just had it was fentanyl, but the guy inside the house is such a degenerate. He fought off the fentanyl, I guess. Holy shit! Yeah, I was gonna say I I heard all about this, and I was like, this doesn't sound that odd to me at all. Like, I mean, it's odd, but it sounds explainable, yeah. right? Like, it's not like th there was alien involvement, and we gotta like prove what's in the picture. You know, like this is they're drug addicts, <laughs> and it was negative a hundred yeah. degrees. I don't see the right. <laughs> I don't see the, like anyway, but yeah. Um. Yeah, I, I speaking I, of people on drugs, <laughs> yeah. psycho. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah. So don't do drugs. I'm sure everybody has seen it by now. But uh, hey, when you're a winner, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what you do. <laughs> Apparently, because yeah, uh, uh, during the Super Bowl here, this this clip went viral during the Super Bowl. Right. That's great. The clips, the memes, everything. Right. And this is after I believe Kelsey was taken out and another tight end was put in and kind of messed up a block. I believe. Pacheco fumbles on the play that he was taken out on. So I think he uh, he's very upset about it. So this is Travis Kelsey going over to Andy Reid after that fumble. After the fumble, he comes over to Andy. He goes, keep me in. What happened is on the fumble, he was not in the game. Noah Gray went in. Good call, Romo. Right, that's what it looked like happened there. He goes over to him and it's like, hey, coach, I just want to discuss something with you. How about you keep me in? Hey, you got a moment? <clears throat> All right, so when I first saw this replay, I, I know he put his hands on him and Andy Reid's 100 years old and Travis Kelsey's a 34-year-old monster who's a you know professional athlete, probably doesn't know mm -hmm. his own strength, but Andy, there's a little oh, fear and like, like out of nowhere what happened there, right? It, he didn't, I don't know, you shouldn't put your hands on him, but it doesn't look like he shoved him like people were, were saying on the internet. What do, what do you think? No, I was livid at this. I... I, I don't think he shoved him, but why are you charging at him and getting that close? Yeah, you shouldn't I mean, bump him at all. Yeah. I, I mean, people, like, he's like Wilford Brimley. 
You know, nobody in the set of cocoon was charging at Wilford Brimley and trying to knock him over because he there was a bad take. You know. Yeah, I mean, no one there was also on seven hundred pounds of steroids. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Raging. Steve is a. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Fucking was a. Uh, it, it, like, you should not. The, well, shove might be. We could debate the term shove, but never not should shoved. this happen. You don't fucking yeah. charge a guy and bump. That's your fucking head coach. I'd be, you know, if please he any. How about a lot of people would have had a lot of repercussions for this? I mean, this is also the old star player treatment, right? Mm-hmm. If he's oh, not yeah. top tight end, maybe of all time, but certainly uh, of right now. Wow, he's benched forever. Never play again, you know, type deal. Yeah, if he's mediocre, or if they but lose, no, he comes up running, screaming, fucking. Or if they lose, over. yeah. Because the story now um, is is they win dynasty Taylor Swift blah blah blah. This is yeah. This is gonna be, it's buried already by the time you're probably oh, yeah. watching this episode. <laughs> it was hilarious yeah, at halftime because they had him murdering Taylor Swift the next day. You know they had already had his uh, <laughs> jail outfit ready, throwing her around. <laughs> fucking, I saw one that so she's already black eye AI of her black eye and shit when he loses, and I'm like, this is great. <laughs> I've seen this the AI fantastic. black guy one. I haven't seen the AI black eye one. <laughs> well, look, I sent you the link for that. That was off my algorithm. No. I think I'm, um, you think I'm opening a link you send me? What are you, fucking crazy? <laughs> I already have all your banking information. Feel free. I, well, I think at the end, he's actually still screaming, but holding him up, right? He grabs yeah. him to be like, I think everyone sees the grab, but he's, he knows he's going down. He's like, I got to hold this guy up. And if he went oh. down... Then That'd I think it's an issue, a bigger issue. That's of course. Two things helped him out. Number one, he didn't he didn't eat the fucking turf, and also they won, mm-hmm. and it was so They're very whatever. Lucky. And then you, yeah. Then then the story is well, these guys are fiery competitors. They have this kind of relationship. Blah blah blah. Sure. Yeah, okay. Sure they well. do. That's my dad. I fucking go crazy. You know what I'm saying? Picture yeah, it that exactly. way. Exactly. Uh, Look, if I'm if I'm Andy Reid's son, I'm getting in a car drunk and I'm running over. Travis Kelsey. All right. Thousand that's, percent. That's what I do if I'm Andy Reid's son. And he's on so right. many roids that might not even do it. You might have to back up, do it a couple now times. Switch this around. Switch this around. If Andy Reid, if Travis Kelsey dropped a, or missed a block, Pacheco fumbles, blah, blah, blah. Does Andy Reid does this to Travis Kelsey? Is there, and is there even a replay of it? Does this even hit the internet? Is this a discuss, same discussion by any means? If he charges up and like kind of bump, like just same came at him thing. and knocked him off? Same thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. Really? I'd like to see Andy yeah. Reid do like full Kimbo slice death tackle when fucking Kelsey <laughs> misses a fucking block. <laughs> Just fucking deplete him. Fucking boom. How many hours did we watch of Kimbo slice <laughs> when we were roommates? All right. Oh my God. R.I.P. On yeah. the loop. Um, yeah, did that. What if Andy Reid, okay, this scenario, what if Andy Reid took Travis Kelsey into the blue tent and Travis Kelsey came out limping and Andy Reid came out <laughs> buckling his belt? Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I can only jerk off so much in one day. Yeah. Now I'm pissed off. I already did today because I would have enjoyed that. Um, where was where were those AI guys making that kind of porn for us 10, on the Chiefs? It's 10.42 a.m. What do you mean jerked off today? I, just, I hate to say it. Usually I would have too, but I haven't. And I'm, I just made that up for the show. But would. whatever. Look, I would have. I thought it was a stroke of genius to make that up. <laughs> <laughs> uh he's lucky yeah, he didn't hit the uh, ground he hits the ground this is a whole nother conversation oh yeah how about this what, what if kelsey was black and did this oh boy would the maga people love that yeah. right what They'd if like, andy, oh, look at these aggressive black people <laughs> what if andy yeah, was black right and a woman up. imagine that and trans mm-hmm. what if andy reed was black and a trans woman S- oh my god sandy reed Yep, Sandy Reid. She's she's back. What if what if Andy Reid was a non-binary cisgender mm-hmm. female right. who transitioned gotcha. uh, into a male twice? Then what? Imagine wow. that. Wow. What if what if Travis Kelsey was trans and he was Travis Kelsey and did this? <laughs> then what are we looking at? What if what are we looking at? Andy Reid transitioned into Travis Kelsey and it was wow. now a self-inflicted abuse. Yes. He identifies as Travis Kelsey. Imagine that. Wow. And then this is no big deal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, then mm-hmm. it's fine. 
Or is it just, is it self-harm? That's the question. He's a cutter. We got to get him help. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Well, anyway, Chiefs won, so nobody cares. (laughs) Yep. Uh, Well, under the rug. How do you think it feels having your entire body weight held up by a roid raging fucking psychopath's hand just on your forearm, by the way, squeezing the death, the grip on your fucking arm to hold you up? Andy Reid's arms probably black and blue all the way up today. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And he's, it's his nuggies arm. So <laughs> good, good luck trying to get those nuggies, bro. But I promise you that did not feel good. Having all your body weight held back up by a fucking, this fucking bear of a man. Well, before, uh, before, um, overtime win, obviously the chief's dynasty has been established by, oh, yeah. by everybody. Uh, there was a halftime show. And it's funny, the first, it wasn't like such a ha- halftime in the sense that the first half of the game was so much different than the second game and a half, I guess, right? Because of the mm-hmm. overtime. Uh, but anyway, Usher, the halftime show. Um, you know, when you watch the halftime show, you immediately go to social media to see how it's received. At least I did. That's I'm, I'm addicted. So I had to see what right. people I don't care about think about something I don't care about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's actually perfect. It's an illness. Most of my what, day, yeah. What did what you, yeah. you guys think of Usher's halftime show with the special guests dancing? Well, along the lines of you, I also go on Twitter at halftime, but I'm looking at reactions to the game. I want to see what people are saying at halftime. So I'm kind of half paying attention. But every time I looked up, I'm seeing something fucking incredible. This guy's breakdancing on roller skates. I'm like, what the fuck? How do you do this? Dude, that was like one of his only outfit changes. And I know both of you know this, but he put on skates in like, I'm not kidding, 12, 15 seconds. Like, how did wow. that even, how did that happen? You know, Remember the Velcro? The, I was distracted by how fast he got roller skates on. I'm sure there's 70 people putting them on like a NASCAR pit crew, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, that's, it's crazy. You know. It was ludicrous. So Usher, right, he's a residency in Vegas. Right. So that's like the old person home of pop stars. Right. <laughs> like, well, we know you're not going to sell out a tour. We don't even know what the hell you could sell out. We're going to put you in a fucking casino at Treasure Island or Circus Circus. <laughs> you're so wrong. And <laughs> could hope, be more wrong. And hope you still. <laughs> oh, you think the residency is like where they put like people like, like Taylor Swift. She's not going to tour the world and make a billion and a half this year. She decided she's going to go. Yeah. Work the arcade at Circus Circus. You're right. He's having trouble selling tickets. It's probably what's happening, right? That's why he's uh, at Vegas. <laughs> oh, you think? Uh... <laughs> so you go to Vegas and you sit on. He puts you on a chair on stage and he lays his cock on your shoulder while your husband's watching. Right? This is this is basically his act. So how about Alicia Keys? How about Alicia Keys? running away from him the whole time on stage while he's trying to grab her up and shit. And like, she's a married woman. She's a married woman. Get your fucking hands off me. And she's like, and he's right behind her. Oh, let me get my hand. And I, I don't like all the handsy shit. Like enough usher. We get it. you probably got a four foot cock. Nobody's questioning that. Women like love Drake. You. I would too. <laughs> the yeah. Drake video where he's like, Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> they put outside of used car dealerships. They just put air on his cock. <laughs> and it just flops around like those air guys uh if he was hard it'd be a fucking national disaster you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. but like we get it we get it usher you know but, you know what's funny to... <laughs> there we go all right 28 41 we had like two minutes to go that's it um i i think i think... only said the first two letters but i'd block it anyway when do you uh when Never mind. I was going to bring it back to something, but I don't care. Uh, when you go to yeah. social media after the halftime Cheers. show, I just love the it, it's OK. Uh, maybe I am. Maybe I'm projecting something, but I feel like everybody who dislikes the halftime show doesn't really criticize it for the performance. They just see black guy. So they hate it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like at least on, I don't know. Maybe it's the people I'm friends with on, on Facebook, but you just see like Usher not impressed. I'm like, I just watched this guy. Like you said, Bill, breakdance and roller skates uh, sing. You could tell he's singing. Obviously, there's time where, times where he takes breaks and there's backup vocals. We all but we all heard that he's actually singing a lot of it and dancing the entire time, like the yeah, entire I time. Yeah, I, th- I think it's, uh, you know, not necessarily even just black, just not the type of music and act you're into. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you wouldn't be impressed. 
Uh, I I get it, dude. But that's, why are you talking about it? That's interesting. That's interesting because if it's we're so used to being served exactly what we want the, in the mm-hmm. perfect way we want it that if it's something for all of us to take a peek at and it's not exactly that, then it's it's gross. I hate it. It's the worst. It's bad. It's one of the only times all year that they're fed something outside their algorithm, right? Right. Yeah, and that is like, true. Oh, God. And the halftime show is pretty much for people who maybe don't give a shit about the Super Bowl game itself. You, they're trying to draw in another audience because mm-hmm. halftime, I'm taking a dump, right? I'm getting some ice cream cake. I'm roaming around, <laughs> grazing some food. And yeah. uh, right. actually, yeah. reverse that order. I mean, the ice cream <laughs> cake goes right through me. Dump. Yeah. Right. You, had and a, then, you were dumping during Let It Burn. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You want some more cake? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is it? Uh, you almost done in the bathroom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, <laughs> no, no, no. I don't know any of his songs. Uh, Sorry, I wish I could jump in and help you here, but I, I, I was trying. I know I don't know any of his songs, but. But also, so the halftime show, people always judge it and say, like, oh, what a, it sounded terrible. For, they're in the middle of a fucking gigantic stadium. I don't know if anybody right. has any acoustic knowledge. It's a nightmare logistically if you're into sound, right? Like, this is not a fucking place where, and they have to set it up in about 17 seconds because, I don't know, there's a fucking game going on the whole time. Like, yeah, that shit would have been set up a week ahead of time with rehearsals and different shit and every mm-hmm. fine tuning of every monitor. And what like it, every ten, single frequency, like 10 minutes, right? The halftime show or something. I felt something 10, like 15 that. tops. Yeah. 10, 15. Cause it's, yeah. it's a medley of like, you know, I don't know, eight or 10 songs. Right. Oh, medley. Nice. Uh, yeah, is that the yeah, right yeah, word? Yeah, just, yes. You get 10, 15 right. minutes and it's a logistics nightmare. It's not going to sound great. Even if the person usually sounds great, because like I said, it's in a stadium, it's set up hastily, you know, I mean, don't right. get me wrong. They've, they planned meticulously every element of it and they have like 70 person people per roller skate i get it but it's just hard to execute man hard to execute dude rihanna remember rihanna when they like when they decided to put her on a drone 40 feet off the ground pregnant like that was a good idea <laughs> i love rihanna she said she always she sounds great i love her songs and shit you know which maybe might be surprising to some people it's not my usual genre of like norwegian death metal probably but anyway i love rihanna <laughs> she didn't sound great because guess what it's a fucking 50 speakers spread out through a goddamn stadium. It's like, it's not, it's hard to sound good is what I'm saying. Yeah. So I'm a nerd, but every time they kicked the a field goal, there was a hiss in one of the mics. It was a very loud hiss. Every time there was some kind of mic they really? put on, either they're micing up the, Actually, the, I heard that too. the goal posts to hear the dong, because I know there is a specific mic for that, a bonk mm-hmm, mic, mm-hmm. I think they call it. But every Probably time, 40 of them, there was like a feedback of some sort every single time they, they went to kick an extra point. But um, I actually we, heard that too. We got to cut this off. We'll continue this conversation over on Patreon, patreon.com slash the Gillian show. We'll see you there.